Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining in today's episode of 166 of the Leon LeGray podcast. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to give you a few words of our sponsors. So today's sponsors is Zenny. Zenny. I love Zenny's glasses. I've used it a lot to protect my eyes on the screen. Works great. And it is awesome. And the use I use on my computer all the time that I've sit around for and work on episodes like this is absolutely amazing. Uh, this week, I've just made a purchase on a brand new um, anti-blue light glasses because I lost it when I was up in New Jersey uh, about two months ago. And I have to say, though, I can't wait when it comes here in the States. And it is absolutely amazing. It would be absolutely amazing to use this again uh, consistently for streaming, working, whatever. And I love Zenny's. Go ahead and check out Zenny'sOptical.com. Use the promo link down below. Uh, you can just use it to save on extra spends while instead of having to go out to your optometrist. So go ahead, check it out, and, and, be, and that way you'll end up supporting me from here on too. Next... It is Brave, Brave Browser. I love Brave. Brave is another good way to help your uh, help you, and that way, no malicious uh, people can get into your into your data. And it's it's really cool browser. I've been using for about uh, over three years. I enjoy it, and I use it a lot to this day. Go ahead and check out Brave. Last not least, it is Blueberry. Blueberry, the top, top number one hosting provider, which I say it's a great start for anyone that is using uh, Blueberry for podcasting, which I have to say I've used their plugins, and I am soon going to switch over to Blueberry to um, podcast over there, which I think it is great, a uh, great start for podcasting, and it's wonderful too. So if you are a, a podcaster actively podcasting or starting to become a podcaster, I recommend um, Blueberry. Go into the show notes down below and start off your 30 day trial on Blueberry. Let's go ahead and get on with the show. All right, everybody. So I wanted to go ahead and, and bring out a topic about Twitch this time and something I have to say that I've been pushing and grinding through affiliates and so far there's been a lot of people coming in and i have to say i've been very impressed with the uh push i've been going through it's not bad it's um i have to say though there's a lot of work with uh uh definitely a lot of work with uh uh when you're working on uh your channel and so so far i am pretty much over the 200 uh following mark well, for a lot of people, it may not mean a lot, but I felt that after I've gone through um, going through on Twitch and playing on Twitch, I just felt that there was just so much um, so much work I put into. I almost felt that this was a great, great accomplishment. And something I have to say that it was wonderful that, that I've uh, put all that work on it. And after playing Little Nightmares, um, Little Nightmares Two, excuse me, and Aliens Firearm, it definitely brought in um, more people coming to the channel, watching me, and um, and what, and then seeing my grow grow from here too. And the last game I did played was Siberia One, which I have to tell, say though, Siberia, it's an old school game. It's um, it's been around since two thousand and two, but um, again, it's the scene or the Siberia community. I don't know, like streaming live on Siberia, uh, it's pretty dead. I I'll be honest, but I did get one viewer coming in, uh, and I've I have to say though, it's a very very quiet um community, um, that if. You're going to plan on uh, uh, streaming old retro games. You just got to be aware about 
uh, streaming, t- what specific titles that um, you're going to be streaming. Because, I mean, this point, yeah, you've got to be certain that if you're going to uh, get the following and the, and the average viewers to complete your affiliate ship, or if you're going to commit yourself to be a, a streamer long term, it's best that you uh, be serious what titles or what titles you pick up on. Because honestly, though, uh, I know that I had a friend criticize me personally about, hey, you know, uh, these old titles, retro titles that you're streaming, that's not going to bring you any uh, any viewers, yada, 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 yada. Which, well, I could say that, it, yes, that, that's somewhat true. However... I I almost felt that I was thrown shade, which I felt that to me at this point, that's the problem with people that, yeah, they are right in certain degrees. Um, However, I, you just don't want to let that discourage you because the fact that, yeah, I took his criticism by heart and stuff like that, probably I would switch things out. And I remember when Cyberpunk came out, like, late of last year you know i remember that was the whole hype whole thing about cyberpunk i and i i have to say though honestly i didn't uh i didn't even stayed in to play it long because here's why i when i played one of the missions and i did gave it a chance and don't get me wrong i think cyberpunk was one of those games that um that had potential and i'm sure it did but um that wasn't a game that I was very hyped up on and excited to play when it first came came out. Very honestly, though, this was something that I very, very genuinely honestly think that th- this was going to be, uh, this is pipe that was going to come in and it was going to disappear, right? But for me, what I think what made the cells so strong, if um, in just my opinion, I think... Uh, when E3 came, came in, I remember that time, like Keanu Reeves was the big highlight of E3. And I think that's where they, it brought so much, um, sales to that point where I figured this is, uh, this is the selling point. You know, he was, uh, you bring this, um, big, uh, triple, triple A class celebrity, like Keanu Reeves, the actor that did the matrix, um, these old uh, action movies, uh, uh, Point uh, Speed, Point Blank, all that, and you know you have him right on uh, out there, and I felt that this was something that hey, it could have sold, but how? <laughs> however, when the release came out, and I remember that time where it just didn't work out well because. A lot of people experiences uh, experience so much issues with patches. And here's my problem with um, games when you release it out there. And this is just me, but uh, however, is that you knew um, when you create a game that just works out half halfway, but then you experience a glitch while in the middle of the mission. I almost felt that all all these patches or what they are doing is just placing a band-aid over uh over a game and not uh, fix not putting the the actual cure for it or not um and not fixing it before production which i think in my opinion it is quite uh lazy that they've um would end up releasing it while you have issues right there too and this is the thing about patches well many will agree or disagree doesn't matter but i think uh patches will uh will just cover things up and not fix the whole whole issue while they they do its job and for sure and i haven't even uh logged into to play cyberpunk or play it for in a very very long time and i'm sure that i'll end up uh snagging some views on cyberpunk but who knows it'll be some point later on that um I would end up playing it probably in my personal time, but not live by any means of the imagination. And and that's one thing I think uh, when you're streaming, 
you want to feel comfortable for yourself, however, that you want to play games that you will eventually like and enjoy. And to me, I felt comfortable playing Aliens uh, Firearm Elite. And this was a game that was gifted uh, to one of my online friends. And and pretty much it was the same friend that, uh, that actually um, recommended me to try out uh, Cyberpunk. And I paid full price on it. This was coming out for me. However, I just I have to say though, I don't ever spend a uh, full price on video games a lot, you know, all not never all the time because I you almost question is it really uh worth spending full price on the game and end up playing it live or just playing it by yourself. Now, if you if it's a game that you definitely enjoy, of course you could just play it on your own. That's one thing about streaming is that the beauty of streaming I think is that um, you can uh, you can play a certain title, and there are tons of people that will come into your stream, and they'll they will come and watch, which is cool. And I remember, I didn't expect this to this to make me uh, big or anything. I remember when I tried um, Brawl Stars back in early 2020, and that's when that this is where it got me to the point that I was. I was starting to get back into the stream, back into streaming because I had so much time in my hands. And I have to say, though, I was, um, I was, I have to say, I was really impressed with uh, Brawl Stars. I love the action on there. And I think uh, Brawl Stars would be something that, uh, that will, I'll eventually come back and play live one, one day, too. And I can still, right now, I can still play it on, uh, on a program that I use a lot, and I forgot the pro- name of the program. But anyways, it's a program where uh, you uh, use that program to play mobile games from Google Play and just play those uh, games right on your PC, which is great, much better than having to um, tilt your head and play play and right in front of the screen, which I honestly think uh, having to do that is very unhealthy, in my opinion. Personally, my opinion, because honestly, you can just have uh, the um, s- have the screen right there, right in front of you, and then have the chat on right off the o- other screen right there, because it is uh, much better. Uh, much personally, because you can just now have your he- head tilted right uh, down the phone screen, the phone too, and that's where I was starting to get um, so much of a following now, which I thought, wow, this is cool and all. And plus, I did enjoy um, enjoyed the game myself, personally. And one thing I will say, like, when I had um, followers, I remember there was one of my friends that was watching me uh, on on my Twitch channel all the time. I remember he used to um, come to my channel a lot to watch me play World Warships, and he enjoyed watching me... Uh, get myself sunk <laughs> and it was great i think i've i love the i love the game too and especially world warships is fun i i definitely enjoyed enjoyed that for sure uh, however i did stop playing it because it's like oh i've um i have to come back and i have to just jump in and check out what's coming up and what's what new items i have to lock so on and so forth too but sometimes it, it can be really drag dragging. It can be uh, tedious to play World Warships too. And that's one thing about the video streaming is that you can choose which games you want to play live and stuff like that too. However, when it comes to the stream game, I, there's an important aspect I want to just bring in as well Was is this. When you are streaming, there is... Uh, potential to uh, to grow, but you definitely have to remember that not all games that you go live will get you big. And when you are streaming, like it's special, it doesn't matter which platform. YouTube, YouTube is starting to grow right there too. I know that um, a lot of people, or a lot of people, are going in and streaming on 
on YouTube and despite the issues that's um, that's going on in chat, which I know that a lot of people have said that the chat on YouTube is not great. But however, I've been so used to Twitch for so long that for me, I don't even expect myself to switch uh, over to YouTube anytime soon because why would I ever want to use their service to stream? I honestly think that as a platform <clears throat> right there, while I think uh, they're, I'm sure YouTube is going to do fine and successfully well on it too. Don't get me wrong. I just think I would rather put my time well worth on another platform instead and doing that too will be much better than having to do it now like you for example uh trovo which i think trovo i see that it's going to be uh pretty good to see more competition out there and well i will say that trovo it is in beta for beta it's and this is one thing i see with uh betas coming in already too is that you're gonna have um, potential on make growing on that platform, and I'm sure you're gonna get uh, viewers over in Trovo uh, more so than on um, than on Twitch now because the viewership on Twitch is definitely com very competitive and and like I said, you've got to keep up what's trending and make sure that if you're going to be successful you definitely have to compete with other streamers out there too and it is and it is a numbers game so don't forget don't forget that as well don't forget that and um especially like even the last few days i had to make a stop uh streaming because i was taking time with uh uh just personal life getting some getting rid of things and also um Having to get rid of things for moving uh, by next year, 2022, which I've already made the decision in my mind, and that's not going to stop stop me. And I've already made this personal decision because I I've said this to one one dude on uh, a podcast that I'm looking to move down to Central Florida. And I think uh, Central Florida wouldn't be a bad move. I've seen the place the place over there. And honestly, it's not going to be too bad, though. And I lived in Georgia for way too long. And I've, I've been living in Georgia for pretty much my teenage and throughout my early adult years. That I'm to a point that now I'm just ready to... To make changes in my life and just getting out of here right now. And I'm sure that here in the States, I'm sure it is pretty messy. Um, depends on where you are, of course. But I'm sure that a lot of people that are still living in big cities like um, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, wherever, right? I'm sure that a lot of people are just going through a hell of a hard time trying to get out of big urban cities uh, however, I've lived here in Georgia for too long. I figured it's just about time to make moves and just get away because I'm ready to get away for me, however, because I'm I'm just to a point that I am ready to get, get out of here too. And um, this won't stop me from streaming. Uh I don't want to say that this is going to stop me from streaming, but with this move uh, down to Central Florida, I am just getting rid of things one by one. And why I'm doing it one by one, because here's here's why. There's not going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be taking down, down there with a moving truck. That's not going to happen. And why I'm not going to do that, because for one... This is just a reset in my life. And I'm just saying, I'm going to start fresh. And the stuff I have, I have here at home, I'm just going to get rid of. Uh, especially cards, comic books, books um, that I have here, which I'm getting rid of. 
or getting rid of as much as I can, cabinets, furniture, all that because it's stressful. Plus, the move is just a lot of work, having to take furniture and move it elsewhere. And that's why I'm just saying, nah, I'm not going to just take all, all that. It's just not uh, possible for me to do in getting getting rid of all that out there. I just um, I'm not not gonna move all that stuff from here in Georgia down to South Florida, because I'm sure that the furniture I have here is better off with someone else's hands. For me, I can see that, and and plus, there's tons of furniture places out there I can just go out and spend money on furniture. Really, so. That's why it's just important for me to get away and do that too. And so that's why I've I've had to stop streaming because of things I want to get rid of and get just get things out there as much as I can. And so it's been really good that I've been getting a lot of stuff done. But however, that's one thing about streaming. And here's things this right here. The reason I think a lot of times when you are streaming, it can suck your time. It's a time sucker. You just, when you're um, streaming a lot, especially, you have to know that depending who you are and depending on your audience, and I know I have um, viewers uh, in parts of the world, you know, and one of the viewers, I've actually, excuse me, two, two of my viewers that came and watched me that played Little Nightmares 2. Uh, two average viewers, uh, one from Saudi Arabia, the other one from Belgium. I was like, wow. I was I was like, whoa, that blew me that I have people parts of the world watching me and stuff like that too. And again, it depends on your time zone. Your time zone. And not everybody, uh, when I say everybody, not everybody can come over and watch you because... Uh, of the confusing time zones and plus if you let's say if you start streaming late around i don't know late around 6 um p.m eastern standard time and somebody is out there is up and on that certain time time frame around the other side of the world they can't really come uh, stay up and watch you all the time so there's that and and if you if you could make the time yourself i'm sure that anybody any decent person can go and go ahead and start sleeping in early and and start streaming right probably in early mornings right and that you guys can start streaming and so, so that way people can come over which i thought about it for many many times and plus you can get viewers to come in uh at their time frame at a very convenient time frame right there too which while I will say that it won't work for everybody, but that's something I've thought about as well. So that's one. It can be a time suck. And and not every streamer can go ahead and uh, sit on their asses for about four hours streaming all the time, it, which is not always possible. And the other advice I would say with um, if you're starting out streaming, don't spend time too much time streaming for that length of a time start small start about um like an hour or two hours stream which is okay you don't have to uh, play for a very very long time because just just don't uh put a strain in your body even though a lot of people say you know grinding is the best way to best way to growth but what why would you ever want to start um that much and strain yourself oh starting out for the first time it just doesn't make sense uh, for anyone like yourself that wants to start off uh pushing out and grinding out for a very long time and i remember when i played um aliens aliens firearm elite i loved it and i enjoyed the game so much because it felt like gears of war and that was a game i actually played um Gears of War on when I had the Xbox 360, it was hella fun. I enjoy every every moment of Aliens just because of that. It just played like a Gears of War title, and I was like, "What?" And I can't believe I'm playing Aliens Firearm Elite. 
which I have to say that that did uh, boost my uh, followership. Uh, like four people came in and then uh, right away followed me right there too. So I got, I've had a good crowd and I loved it right there too. So, and I've played it um, for that one time when aliens, I played it all the way for about one, not one hour, excuse me. One, I did play one hour and 45 minutes the other day. But the longest I played or played and streamed was five, five hours and ten minutes. It was so long. It was, and this is one thing about streaming is, um, it could be a strain not in your body but your eyes, and that's one thing. If you're going to be streaming, uh, just, just start small. Just start small because you're not going to end up becoming a overnight success. So don't ever think that grinding is the best way to start. And what truly is a little bothersome is the worst advice that anybody can give to anybody is that if you're going to stream, it's all about the grind. And that's one thing that truly bothers me a little bit. It's like, it's all about the grind. Well, why can't you start small? I don't see nothing wrong with starting small for about a few hours and about a uh, two or three hours, which is a good minimum. But why do you have to uh, push yourself all the way uh, from 9 p.m. all the way through 1 a.m.? Which to me, that's a that's still a, a long, long time, you know. And if you could be entertaining and if you can start small right there, too, you don't have to push yourself and grind, which that's the worst advice you can just uh, give to anybody. Because I don't see nothing wrong with starting out small. And that's one of the reasons or one of the reasons that a lot of people fail easily, easily enough. Because if you are just uh, grinding way too much, you're going to put uh, so much strain on yourself. So remember that that's not the way to go. And I'm sure many people will come out and dis disagree with me, but that's the way I'm just going to put it out there too. And that's why as someone like me, I've, um, I had, to, I had to stop, um, streaming and focus on my personal life, which for all of us right here, first of all, all of us do definitely have a personal life. And that's one of the reasons I had to make a stop and continue what I had to do basically. So, yeah. So I want to just go ahead and, uh, focus on that and make sure that if I am going to uh, continue streaming on again too, I just got to finish uh, doing things behind the scenes and then I'll come back streaming too. Now, as far as podcasting goes, I'm not going to stop uh, podcasting and I will go back and get in the flow of things again and post a uh, podcast uh, every week on Fridays, which I know I won't stop, and I know um, a friend of mine kind of suggests, "How about stop podcasting, and focus on uh, focus on uh, things you gotta do too." Honestly, though, there's no reason for me to stop. I'm gonna continue doing it and continue what I have to do. For me, I've um, listened to one of my older older friends, even though he's like, "Oh, you know, take it easy on it. Uh, don't have to do it every week. Just focus on your stuff." And my friend is way too chill about it too. And that's one thing is anybody can uh, go out and post post things up too. You don't have to stop. And that's my problem with um, people that are super laid back. And that they they say, oh, you know, uh, don't um, feel that you have to be pressured. Well, no, you don't. It's not like you don't. It's not that you're being pressured. But you want to be consistent of of your work. You know, you want to make sure that you can get your material out there as much as you can. There's nothing wrong with that too. And that's one of the things I, I find, uh, chill in re relaxed state of minds. While you have to be relaxed, you have to have the time to focus on yourself personally too. And the thing is that when you're starting becoming a cr content creator, you have to post and be consistent on it too. And people do expect uh, a time frame, and people 
want to see your stuff on a weekly basis, which to me, I want to be as consistent as I can. And I've been posting episodes. Now this is like a uh, hundred, like I said, a hundred and a uh, hundred episode, 166. And I want to push as much as I can. And look, I know that not everybody can be the Tim Ferriss of podcast. Now, if you work hard on your, on your um, podcast, continue what you're doing, or if you have a project that you do, or if you're a TikToker, if you're a Instagrammer, you've got to be consistent, you know, and by the time um, you stop for a long time, like, I don't know, four weeks, five weeks, there's going to be people out there that are not going to follow you or, or come back to you because there's, there's that point that, well, I, who's going to, who's going to hear from me? Who's going to follow me? And it's not like, I'm like, here's the thing. Don't be out there for attention or don't be out there for the clout. Of course, don't ever do that. Um, but if you're just out there and if you want to be consistent, you know, a lot of people put themselves out there because, because you are working. That's the, that's the main reason that you put yourself out there. Cause if you, if people see content out there, you have to be very consistent. And as I, as someone that is posting consistently and working on talking about tech, which, however, uh, I'm sure there's tons of things about technology. There's so much out there in tech world, which I know I haven't followed too much on it because just because of my personal life, which I know on next episode, I will talk about more on data and privacy, uh, new things like that too, which I haven't kept up with it because I'm just focusing on uh, personal matters in my own life, right? As everybody knows at this point. So yeah, that's why it is very important to keep up with uh, things that you have, you have to keep up, which is very, very simple basically. And I know right after this recording, I'm going to be writing about clubhouse, which clubhouse I have to say, Ooh, it's just an emotion train wreck. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's um not a great platform. Just it's just um not a good way for your mental health. And I know a lot there's people out there that like Clubhouse because it brings dialogue, but man, it's not gonna be for everybody. I will have a written post about it uh right after I am done with this episode. So this is one thing you'll uh, you'll see from me uh, is written content or written blogs, a, a blog about something at this point. So at least finally, I'm going to get a uh, content out there for people that are going to be interested. So yeah, so that's going to be interesting. But anyways, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and put this podcast um, to a stop. Guys, I'd like to hear your um your comments on YouTube. If you're listening to me on YouTube, Odyssey, or if you have something to say through iTunes review, please, by all means, let, uh, let's get some conversation going. Let's get some dialogue going. Uh, guys, I am pretty much everywhere. So you can see me through, uh, Apple podcasts, Google, Stitcher, Spotify, um, tons of, uh, podcasts, podcasting services out there, you name it. So with that said, I am out. This is Leon LeGray here. And see you next time in the next conversation of episode 167 of the Leon LeGray podcast. Take care. Goodbye. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy on today's audio episode of 166 of the Leon LeGree podcast. Guys, if you want to see more content or have content coming through your inbox, go ahead and subscribe to me on my newsletter. The Leon LeGree entry is where I um, post all my blogs each and every week. So go ahead and check out the uh, entry put down your email and all the new content will 
comment right into your inbox so that way you don't have to wonder when i'm gonna be getting the new blog coming in and that way you'll know all the details coming right to your inbox the uh, every single week so everybody thanks for coming in and see you and hear hear from you next time on episode 167 of the Leon the Great podcast take care so long